So let me start over uh, just briefly, okay? Uh, so Ocular, 3D visualization platform. So we take 3D models and we create immersive uh, experience. We use it mainly to communicate sustainability, Bream. So, so there is a little link with uh, PIM's presentation. Um, and uh, we've got clients all around the world, uh, mainly United States, uh, Europe, and the Middle East. So these are some of the customers that we've had last year um, where we visualized buildings for them. Uh, a lot of them are in the industrial space, some cities, um, and uh, also also some uh, real estate developers, uh, such as you know Plagzal, for instance, large landmark developments, or the Crystal City, uh, which is uh, which is the, the the home of the of the Amazon headquarters. So this is the founding team, a blend of IT and real estate experience. Uh, this is where you can find us, the orange dots are where we are located this is our head office in the washington dc area uh, we also work for the u.s government so we keep our presence here um, and also we have a tech office in bratislava where we are right now in slovakia we have a we have a small office in amsterdam as well um, so the key benefits of, of immersive visualization uh, of the of the bim models is uh, you are able to really communicate sustainability bream compliance and other uh, not so visible, not so visible, um, you know, features of your of your buildings uh, and of your um, development. Uh, you can make better decisions, and you can engage better, uh, and that's using AR, VR, or just basically walk through a connected 3D model. Um, we are connect. We are integrated with Autodesk BIM 360. Uh, we are run on Unity, and we got a number of awards around the world. We are one of the four BIM 360 Autodesk integrated companies in this space uh, globally. Uh, so that's a that's a that's a big thing for us and, and for our clients, because if you are on BIM 360, you can basically just drag and drop. Um, and that's, you know, BIM 360 is used by the majority of construction companies in the world. So so you can drag and drop your 3D models and then you get it to an AR or VR or, or any kind of 3D experience and you can do multiple integrations. So how it works, very simplistically put, basically any of these file types, Autodesk, Trimble, Cinema 4D, Rhino, and other, also work with Bentley, uh, you put into our cloud, we've got an automated conversion system that converts and, and, and reshuffles the, the metadata of the files and the meshes, and connects the meshes, uh, simplifies the model without actually compromising the look and feel um, and then we also have a we, we also have a digital studio that that uh, can do enhancements. So we have people that actually interrupt the process, uh, they improve the model, and then we have integrations where you can put your sensors, your uh, your asset management system information, uh, your cameras and whatnot, you know, into the app. And it's all it's all these apps that we're building is is connected to this to this cloud platform. Um, you know, so an example would be this is from a, from a large architect uh, in New York, uh, which is our customer on the on the platform. You start with the two D input, uh, you, you create the three D model, then our digital studio beautifies the three D model and bakes in the textures and lights and stuff like that. Um, it it uh, it creates interior visualizations and whatnot. And then you can visualize it in, in augmented reality on the spot. So this is in uh, this is in Austin, Texas, uh, specifically. So how we do it? Basically, we uh, take any kind of input, either PDFs or layouts, or point clouds, uh, or just scans, really uh, old blueprints. Uh, we turn them into a three D model. Once we turn them into a 3D model, uh, then you can put it into Unity. When you put it into Unity, you can uh, create an animation like this. So this is from one of our clients in the industrial real estate space. And so I have also Martin here with me, um, who is who is uh, working with with his clients around the world, uh, mainly uh, industrial real estate. So he can share some of his views and some of his um, some of his um, 
impressions from this market. So we can zoom in on that a little bit. Um, and then I'll show you something about uh, what we do with the U.S. government, where we actually, um, where we actually overlay data on the on the digital twins and 3D models. So here you see, from the initial 2D kind of blueprint all the way to um, an augmented reality experience, right? In um, in a matter of weeks, really. Okay, and. Um, an example here. I'd like to also share the feed from the app, but I didn't know how to connect with my iPad, so I'll, I just prepared a little video. So here's just a 3D model, uh, but then the 3D model has live data in the context of the 3D model. Uh, so this is some of the work we do with the Department of the Homeland Security, um, where in, in the U.S., where we actually uh, create. Um, create um, a connected experience so for instance uh, if you are a building operator you are able to you are able to um, view the data in the context of your building uh, in real time so so that's pretty much wrapping up um, and summarizing what we do um, and uh, as I said I have I have Martin here uh, with me from the industrial real estate space. So maybe Martin, you can uh, share a little bit of your experience with the, with the industrial real estate because that's a hot topic in, in prop tech at the moment. It's a big market, it's, it's growing fast and uh, we are uh, working with most of the companies, most of the leaders in the market uh, on, the, on their innovations and the digital strategies. Over yeah, so you. the main issue for industrial developers is really communicate the sustainability and BREEAM certification, as Martin already said. And uh, what their challenge really is, is how, to, how do they communicate an unbuilt premise and how do they communicate the potential of, of a property, basically, b before, you know, before they, they start the landscaping and construction. So, so for them to see a one-to-one one -one true scale model on site and be able to, to really interact with it even modulate the entire platform is something that is extremely, extremely helpful uh, in acquiring clients and communicating the, the benefits of, of that of that development. So, so this is really what, what drives the success of, of future developments these days in industrial. And obviously, with the uh, e-commerce, uh, e-commerce increase, I would say, uh, an expansion, uh, given given the, you know, the situation these days, with COVID and, and you know remote communication and and uh, internet sales, uh, industrial developers are, are seeking and, and you know acquiring new properties basically to to enlarge their their portfolio. So so this is extremely important in terms of in terms of how to visualize how to communicate uh, the potential the potential of a particular property that is uh, simply. Uh, not everyone, not, not everyone can 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 see that. So, so I think this is these are the two main aspects: sustainability, um, uh, green, and and uh, uh, ecology, and then communicating the potential, which which obviously uh, AR, VR is a, is a great is a great tool. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I have some questions for you guys uh, and girl. Uh, what is the biggest achievement outside the industrial real estate uh, that you obviously dominate uh, with this solution? Yeah, no, that's a that's a good question. So basically, uh, I think the the biggest achievement in the in the past quarter was that we got selected uh, as a visualization partner for the Department of the Homeland Security. So uh, the U.S. government, uh, we, you know, selected us out of 150 companies from around the world. Wow. Uh, selected our platform for a very quick and efficient um, visualization uh, and, and creation of a digital twin based on any input. Right. So so imagine you want to go. And, and so there is a there is a let's say there is a fire or there is an even space arena stadium uh, convention center and uh, you want to organize an important event, um, we can create the digital twin of that space within a matter of a couple of weeks. And then we include it into our platform and we overlay live data. 
And so if there is any issue, if you need to send firefighters, if you need to send blue force, we can actually track blue force as they're walking through the building if we have the data, right? So, so that's, a, that's a huge step forward from just basically visualizing, but you know, creating these connected digital twins and of course being selected by the US government, that's a, that's a big deal for us uh, being a small, uh, small company. Cool. And you said uh, um, that you can create those live digital twins between in, in, within two weeks. Uh, but yep. uh, and how much do I need to pay for that? Yeah, good question. <laughs> so so uh, that depends on the type of integrations and who, who do we need to integrate with to get the live data. Uh, but uh, it's it's in it, it's in thousands or ten thousands, tens of thousands of euros. Right. So it's not uh, or dollars. For the sake so so it's not uh, horrible sums we try to do as much as we can automatically we've created a lot of algorithms and uh we are really pushing the cost down uh so you know whereas if you hire a studio and you would want to create the digital twin they would try to charge you per square meter or square foot um and then the integrations would be separate kind of bespoke development uh, and because we have a cloud platform, we have already a lot of integrations pre-cooked, so to speak. So that allows us to bring the cost down to, you know, uh, as I said, you know, thousands to, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to start. And then we have a recurring uh, a kind of maintenance fee. Cool. And one more question that I have. How is the uh, cooperation with uh, Autodesk together? Yeah, it's good we were at the autodesk university we had a number of very good uh feedbacks on that and a, a very good marketing value mm, i think we are still starting so we've integrated in the autodesk construction cloud uh into the bim 360 there is there are a number of tiers of integration so we are at the second or third tier now um from our standpoint so first we just make made sure that the files are uh, seamlessly move to our platform, then uh, we can do issue tracking, all kinds of other things. Um, we haven't quite seen the amount of business from Autodesk that we were hoping initially, but I think that's just a matter of time, basically. I mean, we do get requests from all around the world where Autodesk uh, partners, resellers, uh, basically yeah. pull us into presentations. Um, let's say every couple of weeks, you know, so it's not like we would be getting phone calls every day. Uh, but you know, I think we'll just get there. We need to we need to make our name in the Autodesk ecosystem. So, I mean, they, they have hundreds of resellers and hundreds of salespeople yeah. in the world. So, you know, we yeah, they can to... help out a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like to just like to add to the achievements. Maybe uh, we we did receive uh, uh, feedback from some of our clients who basically tried the different solutions, and they were unable to take very complex models. Um, uh, no one else was able to really process them to be able to view them through AR uh, uh, through AR solutions, but we were able to. We were the last stop shop, you know, for them. So we, we finally were able to decimate the size of the model and make it uh, user friendly on uh, through through the uh, traditional ubiquitous devices available, which are iPads and, and um, iPhones and uh, Android devices. Yeah, that's cool because they, I think those kind of devices are being used more and more often or not. Yep, that's true. I mean, you need, need to bring it down to basically mobile phones. Yeah. Really, so that you can move it, you move around with your um, with your phone on a construction site, you know, and have all of the details. So the project that Martin speaks about is basically a large, I cannot name the customer or the type of project, but it's a huge building you know, three, three times three kilometers, you know, of a building. Wow. So, so very, very big with all the installations. And uh, they are even now able to s sign off on the work. And they have 300 suppliers working on the site. And they are able to sign off on, on bespoke kind of work where they say, okay, this was supposed to be here on week seven, you know, and then they yeah. go pick it. Um, so, and, and they just use, um, you know, Android phones, um, really, uh, so cheap kind of Huawei devices, um, and it works, you know. So yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, so then it becomes really available to all the people that also work on the uh, on the construction side. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much, and uh, hope to thank see you. you guys soon. Yeah, thank you. Our pleasure. Thank Thanks. Have a great day. You too.